Oh god. Oops, sorry Gizmo, didn't realize you were in here. Damn it, Gizmo. Using all the hot water again. Take me down to where my stars are shining All around me like halogen One million diamonds already All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Sally Face. It's been a hot minute, I must say. Uh, I think the last time I played it was in October. Since then, they have released uh, the episode number three. I did not know that until recently. Uh, but I did take that short six-month break. <laughs> I say short. Um, I was going to hold off and play this game in October because I thought like, hey, I played the last one in October. I could play this one in October. It could be like an October special kind of thing because um, it is kind of like, you know, Halloween-y and kind of like that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, that did not happen because I thought we fixed Slime Rancher while well, my husband's working on it for like an hour and it did work until I go to play like actual in game and then it crashed in game and I was like, I don't, I don't know. It might come down to where we start a new game. I'm not 100% sure because it was crashing no matter what before. And then now it's just crashing when I go into games. I don't know if that's just like that save. But it only crashes if I have my video um, recording software on. If I don't, the save works. So I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not convinced that we're ever going to go back to Slime Rancher. Which is a, a shame because they just got drones and I was super excited to play it. Anyways, last time on... Sally face. I know that was a really long intro. <laughs> Calm down, dude. You're gonna give yourself a heart attack. This is important. If Sal doesn't get here soon, then dun dun dun. Shit. <laughs> Bye. So long. Wasn't me. I don't know how that happened. Dun dun dun. And the reason why I started to hear is because it does start me right off here. It doesn't like have an option to start episode three it just kind of sh um boomerangs you into it and i was just like or slingshots that's a better analogy slingshots you into it and i was like oh huh it restarted my recording anyways episode three ladies and gents is this real am i dreaming White room, the in m if you white room, find me in the white room. Uh, don't forget what I told you. Find me in the white room. Oh, um, uh, do. But you must not speak of this place to others. Um, do not be. Huh. You are here. I don't know. I feel like if I I did it long enough, I would have been able to figure it out. But that was. That was a lot of work. The only one who believed you is dead now. What should I do? R runs? Huh? Run! Run! Oh god. Oh gee. Which way do I go? Oh, I was supposed to pull that lever. There was a lever to pull. Oh, I don't understand! I, I don't understand. I'm I'm just pulling all the levers. There used to be a door here. I don't know if I did the thing. I was just running. Is it true that you have chosen to forego legal help in favor of representing yourself? Yes. I've got nothing to hide. Can you speak? To your conviction of being an innocent man. Are you sticking with a story you've told the police? I will share the truth. Are you saying your original story wasn't the truth? I'm saying you're twisting my words, bitch. No. <laughs> I have no comments on that. Can you comment on this supposed person that allegedly killed your mother? 
How do you explain no witnesses or evidence or any such person? I don't see the relevance of that now. Yeah. Is it true that you're going to add the slander, or slander, <laughs> Sanderson murder to your charges? That would be news to me, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to pin me on that, or pin that on me too. And what about Charlie Mansfield? I have nothing to say about him right now, except that I did what I thought was right at the time. I was a child. You can't try me for something I did as a child. Okay, since we aren't getting any major details from you, let me ask you your highest polled question. The viewers are very interested in this one. Is it true that you are granted special meal privileges because you are afraid of bologna? I'm not afraid of lunch meat, okay? I just, well, it's a long story. Your trial is a few hours away. I think we have plenty of time. Ooh, are we going to go into the story about the um, dreaded bologna? All right. <laughs> All right, the baloney incident. Mr. Dude, ill. What if I was more than just a doodle? Doodle, 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 doodle. Hello, are you okay? Are you Pyramid Head? Oh god, it's Pyramid Head. All right, let's not talk to Pyramid Head. What's with your friend? He sought the truth, and the truth destroyed his soul. Now please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Can you tell me where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like you will never make it. Hey, don't be racist. Headist? Roundest? I don't know. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never... How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend you, I was... Huh. <sighs> Go bother someone else. I just want to be your friend. Hello, miss. Don't pay me any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since our uh, people were drawn without limbs. What sort of beast could do that? We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you'll need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. All right, death fields. Oh, that looks friendly. Are you the great beast? Well, fuck you too, friend. No, I'm sorry. Don't pay any me and mine. My temper rises the, the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen here for over a hundred years. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lived beyond death? Just take the ladder down. It's always the ladder down. Thank you, sir, for your enlightenment. Hello. You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. <gasps> oh, God. So much death. So little time. The Oracle... Are you the prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the great beast? It crawled through the great hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then it was laid to rest by the magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, though we know better than that. What is the great hole? Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? Everything. Oh, we're learning the truth, ladies and gents. We're gonna get the look, the great hole. By God. Oh God. I'm not gonna lie, that kind of scared me. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. No, that was the teacher. That was the journalist. Huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of the class, okay? 
Oh god, that guy is not happy that we aced our test. Sure it won't happen. Oh, sure it won't happen again. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Yeah, Mr. Phelps. Hmm. Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their test before leaving. Hey, hey, freak. Nobody likes a goody two-shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Fuck off, faggot. I have more friends than you'll ever have. I don't like using that word. I'm sorry. That made my tongue feel... Bad. <laughs> My mouth feels really bad right now. I'm sorry, guys. I was just reading it. You kiss your daddy with your tongue? I'm sure he... Oh, oh, God. We got so punched. What the hell, asshole? Are you all right, Sal? I'm fine. Come on, let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. That'll just make things worse. Trust me, I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Here, let me use my bandana. Where did you even get a bandana? Wait, hold on. You can't. I'm... Oh, she just took off his mask. Holy shit. This is true love. There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry. You can hardly see it. Thanks, Ash. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again? That prick. I'll kill him. Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school and we'll be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. <laughs> Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but ghost toys are a bit much, even for me. So we're really just going to let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about who knows what his home life is like. He's got a, a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. I'm sure he's... Oh, wow, I don't know why my voice went out. I'm pretty sure he's just angry that they switched bologna sandwich data tomorrow. <laughs> seriously? Oh, seriously. I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal, and he doesn't even like Pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Pizza is actually my favorite food. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Maybe he's an alien. <laughs> That's all we need. Psst, Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. I'm right next to you, even though we're soulmates. The next day, baloney day. Dun, dun, dun. Knockville High School. It was a quiet evening on Baloney Day. It off like any other day. Oh god, I. Yep, I don't think I'd want um lunch from that fella. Not at all. Does that baloney smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after baloney? Af wow, the day after baloney day last week, too? Aw, uh, hey, you guys. Don't ruin lunch for me, please. It's only good part of the day. Group huddle. I'm in. Me, too. Count me in. Have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. Who are you, Maple? I didn't ask you. We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this baloney. Maybe there's a bunch of bad beef, or it's expired or something. Or bad goats. I'm telling you, dude, this shit is funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. <laughs> this product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and, and or turkey. Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot day, hot dog incident all over again. Ugh, I hope not. 
Sal might be it might be onto something. There could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take out our sandwiches to the science lab and see if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. However, it would be helpful to know the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd and help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Sounds like a plan. Why do we have to get stuck with Larry? Oh, hi, Larry. Hey, Maple. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? My mom made me peanut butter and jelly again. I'm just kind of tired of it, you know? Oh, I mean, if you're not gonna, of course you can have it, Chuck. Heck yes. I think she like. I think Maple likes Larry. That's cute. Oh, look, it's Travis. I thought I smelled trash. What are you flamers up to? Get bent, Travis. Don't you have sandwiches to attend to? You're like it's bologna day. I hope you get sick. With love. Oh, hey, Kim. Hey, girl. Hey, Kim. Just wanted to ask you about the bologna. Could you tell us where your school buys it from? Why do you want to know about the bologna, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no, we were just wondering where it, you kids go and sit back in your chairs now. No more questions. Do you think we can just see the package, or... No packages for you. Just butts and chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She seemed, always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim is poisoning the lunches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. Though, I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Because sneaking in the back into the was just out of the question. What was I thinking? 103. There's a class in there right now. Do 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 do. Uh, there's really nothing I can do in here. All right. Hall two. Science lab. Found it. Hey, Todd. Where you find anything? Not yet. Were you able to get the baloney ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? She went to get some materials for me. I recommended she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. I'll be right back. Oh, wait, no. BRB! I'm gonna go find me some ash. Make sure she didn't get herself locked in the closet. Or... You know, bullied or, you know, stuff. Courtyard? Do I want to go to the courtyard? Oh, no, there's ash. Hey, what's wrong? The damn closet is locked. I need something to get... Um, to get I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock, but like Larry showed me, but now my hairpin is stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Hmm, could use some, some pliers to get that out, but... Yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor, but he's always leave, always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get this out. Way to go, Ash. We give you one responsibility. Also, I don't know why my recording stops at every... Um, thing, but it does. At every, every cutscene. Cutscene's what I'm looking for. Any luck? Oh, any luck? The teachers are all in the lounge. I'm waiting for the right moment to sneak by. In the boys' room. No one's in here. No one's in here. No one's in here. I feel like that um, something was going to be in there for a second. That's what I thought. Yep. Girls room? I better not. Lockers? It's locked. If I have a paper clip, I can get in. Okay. Oh, Sal's locker. Just some of my textbooks. Todd suggested I take physics this year and I'm actually enjoying it. The world we live in is so fascinating and filled with mystery. I've had this backpack since I started school going going to school here. It's so worn around the edges. A picture of us with Halloween. That was fun. I'm lucky to have such great friends. Aw, we have friends. 
We usually use paper clips to open our lockers. It's faster, and we have we don't have to mes memorize combos. If I had a paper clip, I could get into other lockers. Okay, if you had to use paper clips to get into your own locker, and you got into your locker with no problem, then why can't we just use that same paper clip? Wait, maybe there's a clip in this teacher's room. Oh, look, a paper clip. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This is gonna be a bitch to edit because it it stops the clip every time every cutscene. Todd is never short on supplies for his inventions. I don't know how he does half the things he does. The guy is a genius. This potato light theory or thingy it was a science experiment that Todd showed in class. I'm surprised it's still gr going. Todd and his boyfriend, Neil. They're always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy, too. Aw, that's cute. Not much of a surprise that Todd's locker is filled with books. I really admire his passionate for curiosity and hunger for knowledge. And his thirst for Gatorade. I'm kidding. Uh, let's look at Ash's locker. Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. Aw, I want one. Can I have one? Ash's art supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them, and they never make me feel bad for not being good at it. Oh, hey, that's me. I didn't know she had this in her locker. Aw. Some of Ash's photos. One is an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met those two. Is there anything else to look at? Ash's poor red camera. She's always snapping pictures with it. This might come in handy. I'm sure she won't mind if I borrow it. I think I looked at everything. Okay. Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over these last two years. He's more of my than my best friend. He's family now. I don't know what I'd do without him. Well, he died, so there's that. Larry's art stuff. He's so messy. Uh, in a way, I sort of admire that he that carefree mindset. Carefree mindset. Ugh. That's one of my paintings. I was gonna throw it away, but Larry insists on keeping it. He said, "Great art doesn't need to be beautiful as long as it's um, conveys genuine emotion." And I feel the shit out of this man. I really do. Aww. I think that's an older drawing that Ash made. She actually um, taught Larry a lot of what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may never become close if it weren't for Larry. How's Larry gonna feel if um, Sal and Ash are a thing? I did not mean to look at that like three times in a row. Okay, did I look at everyone's locker? But I wanna look in Travis's locker. Are these lockers different? No. Okay. Well, we got a camera. I guess there's that. Let's go in the courtyard. Oh, window, window, window. The teachers are in there. I need to find a way to get their attention without them seeing me. Maybe a loud noise. can't see them. They must be hiding. Oh, not that way. Let's -a go with this way. Oh, look, there's a ball up there. Hey, Sally Face. How's the detective work going? Not great so far, but we're still looking into it. You guys are wasting your time on this one. I'm telling you, this is good baloney. Nothing wrong with it. Everything tastes good to you, buddy. Heh, <laughs> she has a point there, Chug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In any event, I hope you're right. What do you want? You to choke on your bologna sandwich, jerk. Hey, Kim, I have a few questions for you. Not really, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Skedaddle, buddy. Boy, leave me in peace. Why don't you want me to ask questions, Kim? Nobody's in these stalls. Just making sure there's no, you know, 
toilet monsters and things. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, look at that have you all. That ball is so happy. Ooh, look through the ball into... Okay, let's... Uh, Q and ball. Throw it. Run! Huh? What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was one of those damn birds again. I can't see them. They must be hiding. Alright, here, birdie birds. Here, pretty, pretty bird bird. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I just want to be your friend. Oop, they're getting louder. Getting louder. I'm going to get ya. I'm going to get ya. I got ya. I don't know why that was necessary, but I feel very accomplished for it. Yeah. Throwing the tennis ball really distract the teachers. Oh, there's distracted still? Okay. Oops, I thought we were gonna break. Oh, my bad. Did you get past? Yeah, good thing with that distraction, dude. I saw her file. Awesome. Anything to help us? Well, I had to book it, so I didn't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can get just get the file? No, we don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing the file. Alright, you're the boss, Sally. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Take a picture of the file. Is that not a thing? I don't, I don't want that. Here, use Ash's camera to take pictures of the file. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. I'm gonna be a distraction. Yeah. Run! What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. Alright. What do you think? Look or something. Or, you know, not say the same thing. Did you get it? Dude, the file's missing. What? How could that be? No one else w um, could have went in there without you seeing them. Just jerking your chain, man. I got the picture. Oh, you butt nozzle. Score. Let's take a look at it. Employment. An amateur na nature photographer? Oh. Kim has elephantitis. It's not contagious and she's sensitive about it. Make the other teachers know. Uh, tell Kim to, to stop feeding the birds in the courtyard. Other teachers are getting annoyed. I think I know what to do. I'll meet you back in the lab. You got it, dude. Sit the cafeteria! 101. I can't believe Larry was able to get in the principal's office with all the teachers right next door. I can. Front door? Oh, we can go outside. I can't leave. We need to finish the investigation before lunch is over. You're right. Sorry, Sal. What was I thinking? And... Cafeteria. I got a picture for you. I got something for you. What is this? A photograph? A birdie? You take the picture, huh? Yeah, I took it just for you. Just a small thanks for all the hard work you do. Aw. You're a really sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. So I was wondering, can you tell me what the school buys the baloney from? Why are you interested in baloney for? Oh, well, my friends and I really like it. I want to know where we can get some. It's local made by Mrs. Packer, um, Packerston. 100% beef. She brings um, from farm once a week. Here, I gave you some extra meats from uh, for bringing Kim a nice photograph. Aw, thanks. Thank you, Kim. See, she just a friend. We, she just wanted a friend, and that's what we were for her. And I feel good about that decision. <laughs> All right, Miss Packerson. Packerston. Okay, I thought I could see something in her classroom, but I guess not. Oh my god, this photo is going to be a nightmare to edit. I can just feel it. 
Science lab. Got more baloney. Perfect. Kim said that it's made by Mrs. Packer Packerton. Whoa, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How could she make her own lunch meats? Oh yeah, I forgot she lives there. I hardly ever see her. I'll probably I've probably seen her in the building twice since I moved there. She tends to return at late hours. I can't believe that she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you might think, so it's fairly common. However, when Mrs. Pack Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's very peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a, a little snooping before going to Packerton. I don't like the way this is playing out. Is something nefarious, nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sally. All right, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing the baloney. Exactly what I was thinking. Okay, we'll be back. Bye! Larry, I'll need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it. Desk. Damn, she keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick locks like I showed you? Yeah, th but there's no keyhole. Combo lock? Shit, dude. How the hell are we gonna get that thing open? Let me take a look at it. Oh. I don't, I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe it's on the board? Oh, I don't know. You ever wonder what dinosaurs would think of music if they're still alive? I better blow their freaking mind, dude. Oh, oh, pi, three, one. Three, one. Well, it's actually dot. Oh, got it open. Nice one, dude, what's inside? If you're wondering where I got it, pi is up there, so it's Oh, 141. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. 3.141. And it had like a little square around it. Just a bunch of math papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. Little jars filled with what looks like spices, maybe for cooking. Why does she have a bird skull in here? That's kind of creepy. Crystals, they're actually kind of cool. I wonder what kind of... What Pack Packerton uses these for. So she's like Wiccan. It's a Bible. This book looks really old, but there isn't anything special about it. A bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them. Looks like they're writing in another language. I can't make any sense of it. Strange metal objects similar to Jim's puzzle box could be important. There's another one of these metal boxes, like the... Oh, shit. It's happening again. Yeah, I... Oh god. Um, there's a lot of... I don't know what that says. Are you sure? You could just be dehydrated. You didn't eat anything for lunch, either. It's done. Huh? It's already over. But, never mind. Let's go check in with Todd and Ashley. Hey guys, we found some sketchy things in Packerton's desk. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree that there's something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chuck for now. The poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps until we know for sure what's going on. Well, I guess we know we have what we have to do now. Damn, I'm gonna miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help after that, though. Bye, Ashley. Gonna miss you later that day.
I'll need a few minutes to get ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something first anyway. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room once everyone's ready. Yes, perfect. Cool. Oh, are we gonna go home? Oh wait, what floor are we on? Are we on floor two? Like, our apartment, I mean. I think we're on floor two. Todd's place. Nope. Floor three, maybe? We're on these floors, damn it. It might be floor four. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think it's floor four. I just want to see my pops. There it is. Dad? Note. Sal, I had to go to work to again tonight. I'll be home late. There are some leftovers in the fridge if you don't eat with Lisa and Larry. I'm sorry I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can go do something this weekend. Love, Dad. Aw, Pops. I just want to hang out with you. Oh, God. Oops, sorry, Gizmo. Didn't realize you were in here. Damn it, Gizmo. Using all the hot water again. There looks like there's some frame drops. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... There's something under the bed. It's an old photo of Mom. I thought Dad threw them all away. Hi, Mom. I miss you. I hope you're in peace. There's a handwritten note in the back. Henry, you are my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. Aw. That's so cute. Dad's computer's on, but I don't know his password. Maybe I can figure it out. Henry Fisher. Um... I'm not sure. 7.13? I doubt it's like the time on the clock. Yeah. Was there anything on this that said a date or time? Nope. No date or time on the back. And then there's my room. And drugs. Okay, well, anyways guys, I am going to call this an episode, so if you like this video, press that like button. If you watch more videos, press that subscribe button. I make videos Monday through Friday, and next time we'll be going through and figuring out what we can about Miss Packerton. I want to call her Sten, but it's not Sten, and all that good stuff. Anyways guys, I'll talk at your faces later. Bye!